This is the Helpful Lockpicker here, and welcome back to my Lockpicking Homeschool series. The video I have for you today is going over how to navigate through your first false set. A false set is considered the fifth pen state, which is a state when the plug starts to turn over like it is going to open, but it does not. The plug is still obstructed by a driver pen, such as a spool pen that you can see here, or a mushroom pen, or maybe even a tea pen. What happens is, the spool pen is still sitting here in the plug and it is obstructing plug rotation. What you need to do is set that pen and be able to have all the pens set at the shear line and then the lock will open. We're going to go over some more details on how to get through a false set in just a moment. What I'd like to do now is go over how a spool pen looks and how we can take advantage of them. So a spool pen has a thinner inside diameter and a thicker outside diameter. When you open up a lock with a key, what happens is, is you do not need to apply any rotational force, which is exactly what security pens take advantage of. When you use a key, it can lift the pen straight up and they will be lifted up to the shear line and it will be able to be set very easily. But when you take into account a security pen, they all take advantage of the fact that you need to apply some tension to the plug in order to get the pens to bind and set. Since a spool pen has a thinner inside diameter and a thicker outside diameter, they very easily get stuck on the inside of the plug here and they can be very difficult to set. They can cause a lot of counter rotation that will cause you to drop all the pens you have already set or get you into some very deep false sets. What I'd like to do is go over some examples with you on how you can navigate through these pens and open up your locks very successfully. What I'd like to do now is help you navigate through your first false set. If you're still having difficulty opening locks, feel free to check out my video number 71, which goes over how to easily pick your first lock. What I have set up for us here is a lock that's pinned up with four standard pens and one spool pen, and I have a protractor in the background. What I want to do is try to illustrate some of the feedback very clearly for you that you're going to come into play when you are learning to get through your first false set. How you get into a false set is when you've picked all the non-spool pens, such as all the standard pens, and then the plug will start to turn over like it's going to open, but it will not because it's still obstructed by the spool pen. So say your neutral zone is around 85 degrees, and now you've picked all the standard pens, you may drop down to about 105 degrees. In order to get out of this, you're going to need to probe each key pen until you start to get some counter rotation back on one. You're going to need to lift that key pen and set the spool pen while still allowing it to counter rotate back but simultaneously applying some tension to it and then you'll set that pen and hopefully the lock will open up. Sometimes when you're picking a lock with counter rotation some of the driver pins you've already set will fall back down and you'll have to reset those to get the lock open. But let's give this lock a try and see what it takes to get it open. What I have done is I have paired up a top of the keyway tensioner with a little bit of an extension so we can see where the neutral area is on this lock which is right between 85 and 90 degrees. We're going to use this protractor to help us navigate through our first false set. So I'm going to start trying to pick this lock to shear. Let's see. Small little click on one, that one feels set. Very small click on two, that feels set. Three feels springy, four feels springy. Five. Feels like it's binding and we just got a little click. Let's go through the stack again. One, two, three, four binding. Got a good click and now we are in a false set. You can see we went from about the 90 degree mark to the 100 degree mark. What we're going to need to do is now probe our lock for some counter rotation to find the spool pin that we're on. I know that we set pins 1, 2, 4, and 5, so hopefully it will be pin number 3. What we're going to do is probe each pin and look for the one that will start to counter rotate back. We're going to need to be allowing it to counter rotate back as we're holding some tension on it, so hopefully we can set that pin. Sometimes when you're setting a lock that is providing counter rotation, you can drop some of the pins you've already set and you're going to need to reset them to get the lock open. So let's go to pin 
One's good, two's good, three. You can start to see it counter rotating there. So we're gonna just lift it, keep some tension against it, and the lock has now opened. So what we did is that we set all the standard pens and we started with a neutral zone right around 90 degrees. Once all the standard pins were set, the lock started to drop into a false set around 100 to 103 degrees. We had to probe each key pin until we found the one that started to counter rotate back. When you're in a false set, the spool pin is stuck on the smaller inside diameter, and as you start to lift it, it lifts down towards the thicker outside diameter and the spool pin starts to straighten out. As it's straightening out, it's giving you that counter rotation, and you need to keep applying some tension so as soon as it passes the shear line, the plug will turn and the pin will stay set and the lock will open. One frustrating thing about false sets and counter rotation is oftentimes if you are not careful, you can drop back down some of the pins that you've already set and you'll need to reset them again to get the lock open. I hope you found this video very interesting and helpful. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much.